Hey there, this is Game War Game. I am Poob. Today, we're going to play some subterrain. I've only played a little bit of this. I'm going to skip the intro. It's it's just too long to do as a uh, uh, let's play kind of deal. I'm going to leave the tutorial on because there might still be some things that I don't understand that I would like to know about um, as they pop up. I'm going to be skipping the tutorial sh screens for the most part, though. Anyway, make my escape. God, how long have I been asleep? It's also quiet. I feel like my head is going to burst. My mouth is dry as an old piece of lunch meat. I can relate at the moment. No strength, but I gotta drag myself up one more time. Have to find a way out of here. Somehow. Have to try. Okay, so two options. Either I force the door open or check the ventilation hatch. Maybe the security is offline. Either way, I have to move. Only so much air left. I gotta get moving while I still can. Okay, so uh, it will be revealed as time goes on here, but... We are, okay, yeah, too many of these at the start. We are Dr. West, and uh, by some, uh, I don't know, something happened when he was doing his research which led to him having to kill someone, so he's been here. Uh, do we need to pee at all? I don't think we do. Yeah, in this game you have to pee, but in, uh, in doing his research something happened that basically got, you know, he needed to kill someone, he took him out, and now he lives here. Um, some kind of infection has spread in this colony. Ooh, I'll take that chocolate bar, fuck yeah, and I'm gonna eat it. I press 1 to eat things, I can keep, uh, items on, like, quick use right in there. And that'll change based upon the clothing I get. Okay, so we just went up through the vents, and now, see, uh, they were evacuating the colony or something like that, and the only reason this guy was still in the cell is because his door malfunctioned, and it looks like that happened to a few others too, but... Uh, they also d don't seem to have made it. So we're just gonna check through some of these cells, see if we can find some food. Alright, ground, we press E to pick things up off the ground. That's also how we access our pack once we get it here. Which is right here. Inventory, E, okay. Pick that up, take the bag. We're now wearing a bag, so, uh, you can... It's pretty nice, uh how things are animated in this game, and when things change on your character, you really see it. Like, there's the bag he's carrying. I'm making him spin around like a maniac, which is entertaining to me, because you can see his head swing around. Like, he looks like a fucking dinosaur. He, can someone mod this so that it's, you get to stalk around this place as a raptor? I don't know. I think that'd be pretty fucking cool. Maybe I'm just crazy. Who knows? I think that'd be rad, though. Oh, man, that's pretty lucky. Baked beans and a soft drink. Uh, right, we're going to be suffering from contamination and things like that. See, uh, there's a lot of survival elements in this game. This is uh, tap water. I could drink it, but there's a risk of contamination. I mean, who the fuck wants that, right? Uh, contamination is pretty cool. It gets represented on this small circle down here in the left. As well as the fact that we're thirsty, and I should have dealt with that earlier. Let's see. There we go. Hopefully in my haste I'm not missing anything too important. Uh, pretty sure before too long here we should come across a weapon, actually. We need to find the key cards for these doors, too. Okay. I gotta watch out because I know there's an enemy somewhere early on in this. I guess. Okay. Emergency response plan. Um, that just details the ways in which they're going to get everyone out of here. Um, you can pause now and read that if you'd like, but I'm going to skip past it for now. Um, I basically told you all the information that was within that. They were supposed to move the prisoners in uh, in a particular fashion, we'll say. And who knows, maybe they messed up while they were, they were doing that. Okay, so we found the key card for that door. I should have equipped my baton. Let's see, we go in here. What is this? Okay, no tool. Oh, just this means equipment. Okay. Uh, there's several slots for weapons, so we'll be able to cycle through them. And uh, hopefully we'll come across some more here relatively quickly. I think I'll zoom out a little bit. Uh, I'm never sure where to play this on the zoom. I know it's a lot easier to see things when you're watching it if it's uh, zoomed in a little bit more, but there's also the fact that you can't. You can only see what you can see. It doesn't. Uh, doesn't do you any favors for your, like how far your vision goes on this, so it's really important to have it on the right zoom level. Alright, what did we find here? Energy drink. That's pretty good. Okay, um, I, I don't think there's going to be anything too important in here other than that. What are these? 
Uh, no, that's tap water. We'll end up infected if we drink that. So that's just, that's no good for us at all. What we're trying to do is just find the proper key cards to get out of here. And that's what I'm going to focus on doing. I know uh, there's some weaponry in here somewhere. And hopefully I'll encounter that. But uh, from what I've seen... Oh, dodge. I can, okay, so I can hit the space bar to dodge this guy. Oh, yeah. He just got his fucking head knocked in. Here we go. Uh, Minerva samples. We can research those. And I think we can recycle them into items later. Let's check this out. Okay, nothing here. I expect to find a key card in this somewhere. Oh. Okay, nothing there. Uh, hit, I can hit Q to scan the area for interactable objects. Okay, there we go. There's a weapon. And there's a power pack. Still has some power in it. Uh, all your weapons use power from your power pack. So, um, there's a piece of a gun. Let's just take that. Maybe we can break it down into something useful later. Okay, what are we doing? Okay, a crowbar. I, I don't know if crowbars are going to be useful for me, so I'm just going to leave it behind. There's only a specific... Yeah, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Key cards. All the doors can be opened with different key cards and whatnot, so... You, you tend to end up with quite a few of them in your backpack, actually. Alright. Does that open this door? There we go. Let's move on. Like, there's dead guards and prisoners everywhere. It's pretty fucking horrifying. Alright, we're out of here. Oh, yeah, I probably could have searched a lot more of that area, but for now I'm just trying to move on, because in this game, the the infection doesn't wait for you. It uh, Right now, on the whole map, infection is growing. Uh, station level. I made it to the transport level of the prison, but I still haven't seen a living person. The transport level has a visitor's meeting room and other important facilities like oxygen and temperature regulators, but most importantly it has a tram station that is connected to the rest of the Myers colony. That is probably where I should be heading to, but I should also search for supplies along the way. It seems like all hell is broken loose, I'll need to be on my toes. The question is whether or not the security measures will still be active. Given the situation, I doubt there are any guards left to stop me. Okay, so it sounds like smooth sailing as far as against my captors, but uh, everything else is kind of up in the air, so we'll go check out the space center at some point and see if there's a shuttle out of here there. Um, say I've played a little ways into this, so okay, this is just explaining that I can charge up power packs, which is right here, and there's a little meter on this that'll go down as I charge it up. There we go. So we've got a full power pack, and there might be some more in here if we're lucky. Uh, did he search that last one or not? Yeah, there's another power pack. I just put that into my um, my power pack slot right there, and I'm going to fill it up on this before we go. There we go. Let's take that, and why not have a flashlight as well? Um, we'll put that in our light slot, but I will keep this light stick. Oh, there we go. That's way more powerful. I don't know if I really need that, though. It seems like... Because the flashlight's going to use my uh, energy pack as well, so I don't know if I really want to use it. Anyway, let's keep looking around. Whoa! Okay, gotta be more careful. Let's uh, use our gun here, because why the fuck not? I don't know if there's any reason we shouldn't use it, as we can just charge a power pack pretty easily. Um, I don't like to play this very uh, in a very reserved fashion, so I might be wasteful in what I'm doing at times. But uh, I'd rather use what I have rather than, uh, you know, kind of suffer from that too-good-to-use syndrome. Alright. Just want to get out of the prison level for now. And that's what I'm going to focus my efforts on. Uh, oh, right, yeah, right, right most button is a uh, shield, which does not fully negate damage, but it uh, does a pretty good job of lessening it. Alright, nothing else there. Let's move on. See, so, yeah, I can roll my mouse wheel and change through my weapons. How's our hunger? Hunger's at 14, thirst is at 10. And he's only slightly tired, so we don't gotta worry about that too much. This is probably all garbage. I'm not gonna pick up a lot of that for now, since I don't know what any of it's going to do for me. Um, this is just mostly the tutorial area, so... I'm not really too worried about missing anything except for what might be in these. And what we're looking for is more keycards. Keycards is how we're going to keep ourselves moving forward. 
and uh, you know, the, really the key to exploring everything. Okay, this might be important though. A nano casting kit heals fractured bones. That's gonna be good. If I end up in the situation where I've got fractured bones, I'm gonna be glad I took that. All right, let's check out the rest of these. I feel good. I got a flashlight. I got a gun. Like Mars is my goddamn oyster right now. Oh man, purified water. Wow, this is way better than when I uh, when I first played through this part. Okay, did I get all these? Yeah, I, I searched all those. Just want to make sure I don't miss anything like a key card. And these are fridges. Um, okay, nope. What's down here? Uh, this is just a bathroom or something. This is terrifying. Let's just check these, make sure there's no infected in here. Okay, looks like we're good. Let's get the fuck out of that room. Bathrooms freak me the hell out, man. Games use bathrooms against you in, in so many instances. Okay, let's check this out. A shotgun. Uh, I may as well take the shotgun. I don't know if there's really any bonus in carrying different weapons. Um, but, like, I, I just literally don't know. There might be uh, certain weapons that you would really like to have against certain enemy types, but as of yet, I've only really seen uh, really slow guys, so. There's some more key cards. Oh, assemble a weapon. Yeah, we're not worried about that right now. Uh, if you find it, all the weapons break down into three parts, and you can uh, switch all the different parts in and out of them, which is pretty fucking cool, actually. Um, as of yet, we're not going to be finding anything that's better than what's in our guns that we currently have, so... Let's take an extra baton, because I know they have durability, and I don't want to uh, have no melee weapon in case my energy runs out. Although, I think I might be in big trouble if my energy runs out regardless, so... Alright, let's check the other side of this place. Is there any enemies in here? No, looks like it's all clear. Prison gate keycard seems like it would be pretty important. There's a wrench. Fix the mutant problems. Okay, I don't think I really need a wrench since I already have a baton. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, I'm trying to travel light. Um, I don't really. I, when I first came through here playing the tutorial, it was. Uh, Alright, I just want to check these desks. When I first came through playing the tutorial, I found that I filled up my inventory with a whole bunch of, frankly, useless stuff, so I don't want to be doing it again uh, now that I'm doing the playthrough, because hopefully we can move at a decent clip, at least through the beginning of this, so that we can get to something a little bit more interesting, and uh, you can learn a little bit about the game as we go along. I, I know I like kind of like I got half stopped in the middle of a thought earlier about something, and I'm tr I've been trying to remember what it is as I've been continuing forward here, but... Uh, Hopefully I didn't make too big a mess of uh, what I was saying earlier. Okay, I kind of want to get. I, I kind of want to come back for that. That's that's the oxygen filter. That's what keeps uh, this area regulated. And if it weren't for both of these items being working at the moment, the infected would be really heavy in the area. Um, it, you can go into different zones in the uh, Mars colony and replace these items because they break over time and uh, what it does is it keeps the infection under control uh, the, the infection prefers like what is it uh, cold temperatures and cold airless temperatures or something or atmosphere I guess you would say okay leaving the prison I finally made it to the tram station incredibly there was a full operational tram fully operational tram it never left for central control no surprise given the situation prisoners and guards are all dead I don't know where to go, but I'm not staying here. If I can just get to the space center or central control, maybe I can find out what's going on. There could be survivors, or at least some supplies, something to eat. All right. Tube. This is the tube. We get on the tube, and this is the this is our map of the Mars colony. Right now, we're here at the outermost uh, arm on the M MPO prison. And where we're going is Central Control, which is the only other place that's powered right now. It's going to take us an hour and 40 minutes of game time to travel there. Um, mercifully, the game doesn't actually make you sit through that because it just has a massive time multiplier. It's still, <laughs> still a little slow, but it uh, I don't know. Maybe they're hiding some loading that's going on in there or something like that. Okay, here's one of my pet peeves in this game. You better see it. Boom. That he starts with his back to it. 
I wonder if I could back into it on the other side and make him come out facing the right way. Alright, let's save our game. Save game, are you sure? Yes. Now, see, I'm going to be trying not to save scum, too. Uh, probably if I get a long ways in and I die, we'll prob uh, I'll probably just call it there. But, um, anyway, I think that's going to do it for this one. Uh, in the next video, we'll be exploring Central Control, which is where we are now, and we'll uh, familiarize ourselves with some of the systems at play here on the Myers Colony, and, uh, you know, the different things that will mean for us as we move forward. So, anyway, this is Game Horror Game. I've been playing, I'm Pooh, first off, and I've been playing Subterrain. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and join me again next time. Have a good day.